Hi everyone, I'm Amanda from the Raw Food Kitchen and today I'm coming at you from Udwood in Bali where we've been here for the last two weeks and just dining out on raw food galore. I'm totally blown away by how many cafes there are here that cater to raw foodies and people who love vegan food, organic food um, and so much so that I will actually do a blog for you very soon. Um, but today what I want to do for you is make a smoothie um, which I'm going to call uh, tropical smoothie barley style. Um, so what I've got here is I've got some fresh um, pineapple, uh, papaya, some beautiful papaya here, and uh, watermelon, some beautiful lime, and an aloe vera leaf. And what's great about um, a wooden barley is that you can pretty much go to any organic store and grab um, an aloe vera leaf for about a dollar forty a stem, which is brilliant. Um, and aloe vera is actually uh, a very uh, anti-inflammatory, it's, it's very alkalizing, it's great for digestion, so I'm adding that into all my smoothies um, while I'm over here, because it's just so good for you. So I'm just going to, um, it's a bit like uh, filleting a fish, so I'm just going to chop up a small section, and I'm going to slice off the stems. Now I'm a bit limited here in the villa with my kitchen equipment, so uh, this is the only knife I have. But as you can see, I'm just uh, slicing off the outer leaf. And you're left with this beautiful clear gel, which, I mean, as most of us know, is really great for sunburn as well, for cuts and bites and stings. It's very cooling. So we're just left with this beautiful clear um, gel. I don't know if you can catch that on the camera because it is quite see-through. And I'm just going to chop that up, pop that into the blender. Now it's quite bitter, so you want to make sure you're adding some sweets to or some sweet fruits to that to that mix because it is quite a, um, a strong flavour. Now I'm going to add in a banana here. This is what a real banana looks like. <laughs> The great thing about barley is that all the food is local, um, so you're not going to see hybridised vegetables or you know everything that looks uniform and consistent. They're all very different sizes and colours and shapes, and they're bruised and they have defects, and that's what I love about this because you know you're eating real food. So I'm just going to add in the banana, which I think I just lost <laughs> a banana over the side. And to that I want to add this beautiful pineapple. So I'm going to save this one here. I just started this earlier. So it's going to chop the end off. We just want to get rid of the spikes. Okay, I'm just going to also tidy up these little bits that are still left. And I'm just going to take out the core. And then just chop off any bruises that you find on the pineapple as well. I'm just going to slice that up. There we go. And I've also got some papaya and watermelon that I've just um, chopped up beforehand. So I'm just going to put a handful of each of these in because we're getting quite, quite full here in this, in this blender. So I also want to add some greens in as well. And the greens that I've got here is some Chinese greens. These were bought at the local organic markets, super cheap. Um, again, with everything over wood and barley, you can get so many um, great vegetables and fruits. And there's little organic markets that pop up everywhere and, you know, they're on every day of the week at different various, at various places, so definitely worth checking out your organic markets if you get to a wood. So, just a few more of those to go in. And I've got some beautiful fresh mint. Let's put a handful of that in. And everything's been soaking in filtered water. Unfortunately, you can't drink the water here. It's pretty dangerous. Now, to top it off, I've got some coconut kefir which you can make at home quite easily, but again, we're so blessed in Bali and we put here. 
that um, there is a shop called Alchemy that actually um, sells coconut kefir among, amongst um, kimchi and sauerkraut and um, kombucha to take away. So you can grab this, I think it's from memory about $4 a bottle, maybe less. And it's super good for you, loaded with um, good probiotics. Very alkalizing again. I'm going to put in maybe a quarter of a cup, half a cup. And then I'm going to also add um, good old coconut oil. So antiviral, anti-inflammatory, um, perfect for when you're traveling, antibacterial. And I just want to give it that yummy coconut flavor. And then I also brought with me some Himalayan crystal salt because I wasn't sure whether I was going to get any. So this has come all the way from Sydney. So just a pinch of that. All right, I think we're done. So what I want to do is just um, add a little bit of water to the blender. Maybe 500 mils. I'm just going to blend that first. I want my smoothie to be quite thick, so I don't want to add too much water. Oh, that is delicious, absolutely beautiful. I can taste that coconut coming through and um, completely disguises the taste of the aloe and the green. So um, this would be great just to garnish with a little um, wedge of um, pineapple. Um, and uh, don't forget to just add a squeeze of lime in for a little bit of acidity and serve. Enjoy. Now, if you want to check out any more recipes, please um, go to therawforkitchen.com.au I've also got some amazing ebooks on offer as well as a 28 day rules and transformation program where I've had over uh, 500 people join the program and have a successful transformation uh, to, to living the raw food lifestyle. So please check it out and I hope to see you guys very soon.